So my name is Oliver Robinson. I work at the Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience at University College London, uh, and I work on um, trying to understand the biology behind anxiety disorders uh, and disorders like depression, um, trying to uh, use our understanding of the brain to improve treatments and diagnoses for these disorders. So yeah, there's this kind of pervasive idea, I think, um, in popular culture of the mad genius, I think, uh, is how it's often described. This idea that um, if you have uh, some kinds of mental illness, it's kind of, it, it gives you a superpower. You're much better at, uh, uh, you know, various creative um, aspects. And, and a lot of that is informed by, um, you know, famous individuals who were creative and also happened to suffer from mental illness. Um, the problem with this characterization, I think, is that, you know, for a start, there are lots of very, very, as we would define, creative individuals who don't suffer from mental illness, okay? And there are also huge numbers, perhaps the majority of people who suffer from various mental illnesses, who you wouldn't necessarily uh, class as terribly creative. And I'm not sure how helpful this kind of uh, idea is for those people, you know? Uh, the idea that, well, you know, I suffer from bipolar disorder, um, all I get are the negative things. I don't have the this, uh, you know, the, I'm not a great composer or something. Being told constantly that 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 this link exists isn't terribly helpful for those people. Um, in addition to that, um, you know, something like creativity. How do you define creativity? I mean, it's very very difficult. You know, you could point to someone and say that they are creative, but in terms of like drawing the line, this person's creative, this person's not creative. It's, almost impossible to do, and my definition of what's creative might very well differ from your definition of what's creative. So pinning that down is very difficult. The other, the other aspect is that mental illness, um, you know, this is what I spend my days working on, and i you know, be the first to say that we really don't know what's going on. You know, we can describe the symptoms quite well, and we can sort of see it, we know it when we see it, but actually understanding what's going on, uh, we really don't have a very good handle on that. And because of that, you know, making a link between these two things that you can't define very well, creativity and mental illness, you know, it's, it's premature, I'd say, uh, if not just potentially wrong.